let me ask, let me answer the first question that some of you may have, which is why am I here? And I'm, I'm here just to check on the Fall River, uh, to check on uh, my partners in the legislative delegation uh, who represent Fall River and, uh, and on the mayor and on his team. Uh, we all know that we're facing uh, some very, very tough times and some uh, uh, difficult decisions uh, that I have had to make uh, with respect to the uh, state budget that the mayor is having to make with respect to the municipal budget. Convey that uh, those uh, those cuts and those tough decisions, notwithstanding, we're going to keep governing. We're going to keep uh, the active, robust, and important partnership uh, that we have, and that we're going to be looking for ways. Uh, and that was uh, really where we left off in the conversation: looking for ways to do what uh, the people expect of their government at the state and the local way, uh, local level, smarter, uh, and uh, so that uh, in any challenge there are opportunities and that's uh, one of the opportunities we're going to be seeking. Thank you, Governor. It's a pleasure to be here and it's a pleasure to have the governor here. You know, during good times you usually see a lot of governors. During tough times you rarely get a glimpse of them. This is the first time where we've had a difficult situation in the economy and the governor has taken initiative to come down here to make certain that we're doing well as long as can be expected with the difficult fiscal times that we're all in. And the governor is very encouraging by helping us look and think out of the box to ascertain ways that when this downturn is over, and it will be over at some point, that we are poised and ready to take advantage of the good times when they come in. So it means an awful lot to myself as mayor, to all the officials in our city to know that the governor is concerned about us during trying times, even though he's going through those trying times himself. But he wanted to know how cuts were impacting us, and he wanted to know about any ideas we had where we could minimize the stress that we're all going through and that the people are going through. So, Governor, again, on behalf of all of us in Florida, thank you once again for your support and your concern, and especially your caring. So, Mayor, can you tell us how cuts are impacting you in the city level? The cuts impact us not just in local areas, which the government has been able to keep off the table so far. Uh, and of course, that's with a caveat. None of us know what tomorrow brings. But as of right now, uh, we're very fortunate that he isn't looking at local aid, and he can speak to that himself. But he has told me numerous times that that's the last place he wants to go. And he has had to make cuts in other areas where uh, we're going to have to absorb some of that. Some of that is a community policing area. Uh, and again, as the governor stated, he has some difficult choices to make. They're never going to be easy. They're never going to be pleasant. We have the same uh, scenario here in the local uh, area. We need every single service we have. In fact, we need to expand and increase those services. But that's not the reality. The reality is we have a given amount of resources, and we have to learn to make do with those resources. We have to learn to do more with less. Those are the realities of the situation. Can you describe at all the uh, the budget situation in Fall River with, with reduced, I don't know, if it's uh, excise taxes and, and tax receipts in general, property tax with foreclosed homes and so forth. Where, how much of a hit is the budget taking? And as a result, when you have to prioritize what you want to do as a government, what is being cut out? Well, right now, we've been able to preserve the core services. So far, we've cut $8 million from the city budget. We went through that exercise prior to July 1st. Three and a half million dollars was cut from the municipal side of the budget, and we proposed four and a half million dollar cuts in the school department budget. We are now faced with revisiting the school department budget in the process of trimming that four million dollars right now. So we're not looking at retaining any luxuries at all. We're trying to preserve the very core services we have in our city. Public safety, education, and health. Governor, if I may, were you able to offer uh, an assurance that you'd not have to cut local aid this year, but do you expect local aid will have to be cut next fiscal year? 
Well, what I've said all along is that cutting local aid and, frankly, Chapter 70 support for public schools, the state support for public schools, are last resorts. And we have so far, uh, in closing a $1.4 billion gap, been able to uh, hold those harmless. Uh, we're watching the budget situation, the economic situation, very carefully. We have to adjust uh, further. We will. We have some other options. Uh, but I can tell you that both local aid and uh, support for public schools will remain a last resort. What, what is your greatest concern with the economy and being the state it is in? What's your greatest concern about the way state government or local government is going? Well, you know, is, my greatest uh, uh, concern is that uh, is that uh, not all of those who are who uh, are having to have responsibility for delivering um, the several services that the people rely on at the uh, at the state level fully appreciate yet uh, just how serious this is. It's very serious, um, but it's uh, it's not a reason to panic. Um, it's a reason to execute on our plan. Remember, um, even though we do, that we are here to govern, we're going to keep governing, uh, and that we ought to use this opportunity to uh, uh, to stop doing or do better um, things that uh, we haven't been able to get at or quite get uh, to, so that we're as, as strong as possible. We can you said there were some options. Can, can you tell us any of them? I could, but I won't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but the, uh, you know what the options. I mean, there there, there are, um, um, but the fact is, we have solved for. A $1.4 billion gap, which is uh, based on the very best forecast from the very best forecasters. But uh, as the mayor said, uh, no one knows what's happening. But we're doing our very best with the information and the forecast we have. Uh, and if, uh, if the situation uh, changes, then we're going to stick to it and solve for, um, uh, for that. But the important thing here, I believe, is that we all stick together. We not panic. We be very professional and focused and business-like uh, about this and try to make these decisions mindful that behind every one of these dollars is a human being or a good idea that is worthy and try to make these decisions uh, with that kind of thought. So you, you said you were here to uh, check on Fall River. Is, is this tour just to reassure folks that uh, they're still remembered up on Beacon Hill? Of course. And I, I think... Uh, I think it's, I hope it's, it's, uh, uh, it's true that the mayor and this delegation don't need a lot of reminding uh, of that. I spend a lot of time in Fall River. We've got a lot of uh, important initiatives going in Fall River right now. We're going to keep those, uh, keep those going. But part of, uh, you know, part of the job is showing up. Um, and, uh, and that's why. How's Senator Obama doing? <laughs> well, I haven't read the paper today. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, is that, it's, it's tomorrow, I think Thursday. it's you know, I'm, I'm biting my nails and working real hard. I think it's going to be a squeaker. Um, but uh, I think his leadership is exactly the leadership we need right now in this country. And, uh, and I think his, uh, his being president and having a, uh, an administration that's re-engaged in domestic policy um, is, uh, is, is, uh, is and will be very good for Massachusetts. Well. Can you reassure the voters of Massachusetts that you uh, would not take the position in an Obama candidate? How uh, many cabinet? different things do you want me to do that? Yes, I Oh, can. I haven't been, I haven't asked you this no. question. Yeah, yeah, but everybody else has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now listen, I, I, uh, I hope he wins. I want him to win. Um, and I know he will assemble a great, uh, a great team. Um, but my commitment is to remain here in the position I have and to run for a second term if the, uh, if the people will 